Want to learn how to create a print on demand t shirt website with Shopify and Printful? You are in the right place. My name is Prosper, and in this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step how to create a print on demand web, uh, website uh, using Shopify and Printful. So, if you are wondering what the print on demand website is, um, it's a website whereby customers can come to your store, they make an order. Uh, the print on demand web, uh, platform will receive it, which we are using right is Printful. So, once they receive the order, they print the order for the customers and then they get it delivered to the customer so i'm going to be taking you step by step how to integrate these two platforms together so here are the uh, step by step you are going to be following the introduction which i'm already doing how to sign up to shopify to add your theme sign up to printful create and add products to your store to create collections set up payment and checkouts create pages and menu customize store add custom domain pick a plan and remove store password we're going to be making a test order and i'm going to show you how to fulfill this order when you receive it so right here is a store that i've created so this is the store that we are going to be recreating in this video so this is a print on demand store created with shopify so you can see it looks very uh, very simple so at the end of this video you'll be able to create uh, something like this or even much more better so here we have our menu here we have menu for all products i call this one bay so if i should click on this so we have these are the products under this under this particular uh, collection so if i should click on this bull so this is another this is another product and then we have another one here so if i should click on any of these products so let's see how the product page looks like so this is how the product page looks like you can see we have it in different colors so you can select whichever colors they want if it's unavailable it is right that's okay uh, the color berry uh, for this size xx is unavailable okay but the small is available so you can see the picture of what it looks like this is what it looks like so customers can either buy, add to cart or they can click on buy it now you can see the product there's a product description here which was created by printful so you don't need to worry about creating um product description except you have something better you want to add to it then you can edit your product description you can see we have a size guide you have this share this product so that means customers can click on any of this button to either share it to, on facebook twitter or to pin it on pinterest so we have here yeah, you may also like you know it helps to increase sales maybe if customer is on this page viewing this particular product and they scroll down and they see this you know they might say okay let me add this to cart or let me buy this so here is the footer the footer here we have uh, different links leading to the footer the social media you can also add your social media accounts here we have a newsletter and it you know all this is uh, what i'm going to be covering in the course of this video so if you are new to this channel or you are yet to subscribe uh, kindly click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so with that guys let's go ahead and sign up to shopify so to sign up to shopify just go to akprosperblog.com forward slash shopify So once you are there you click on start free trial so you can see 14 uh, shopify will give you a 14 days free trial to test the platform so when you're on this page you click on start free trial so right here you are going to enter your email and your password so you can see start your uh, free 14 days trial of shopify so now let me enter uh, the email i'm going to be using for this uh, for this tutorial So now I've entered the email and the password I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So the next thing is to enter our store name. So look at this. So the name, whatever name you are going to be giving your store, it has to be a name that is unique. And that means a name that is not already on the Shopify platform. Let's say for instance, I want to give a name my store. So, for example, for this particular as uh, demo store we created, I have it as uh, teens for lovers, teens for lovers. So, if I should come here and type uh, teens for lovers, you can see a store with that name already exists. If you are the owner, you can log in here. So that means someone is already using uh, this name teens for lovers. So I can't use it again. So you might be facing that challenge when you are creating your store. So let me just use this one teens for lover. So without the X, the S like what we have here. 
so but don't worry uh we can also change this in the uh i'm in this video which i'm going to be showing you as we progress in this video so once you enter your store name you click on create your store so on this page our email will appear so now you enter your name your first name and your last name then you confirm your password so let me do that so once you are done you en once you enter all these details you click on create account so sit tight we are creating your store so success your store is ready to go so let's just wait for it to load okay so this is a little survey you say tell us a little about yourself so are you already selling so you can just pick uh, the answer that best that best fits all these things so but i'm going to be skipping this so now let me fill in this detail said add an address so you can get paid so this information are very important so let me fill in the address so once you are done filling all these details so you click on enter my store so this is it guys you can see your your free i mean your trial just started so now we've been able to sign up to Shopify. To add a theme, so if you click on online store, so we'll click on online store. But before uh, we select a theme, let's see what our store currently looks like. So if I should click uh, view your store, so this is what our store currently looks like. So at the end of this uh, video, we are going to be making it f look from this to this. So we are going to making it look look like this. So but currently it is currently looking like this. So you can see there is no product, nothing is on the store. So let's go ahead and uh, change our theme. So I'm currently on the theme page. So to change the theme, it's currently on an, on de this theme uh, debut. So you say come to free theme, you click on explore free themes. So the theme that we are going to be using for this uh, tutorial is minimal. So let's look for it. So this is the theme I'm going to be using. So there are different, uh, dif there are three different styles. We have the modern, the vintage and the fashion. So I'm going to be going with the fashion. So you click on add to theme library. So once we've done that, so let's is the theme is still loading. What we want to do now is to publish the theme. So let's see, let's wait for it to load. Okay. So minimal so once you click on action, so you see the option publish. So you click on publish and publish. So you can see theme published. So if you should go to our store to view it, so let me refresh this page. So you can see that it has changed. So this is how the theme minimal currently looks like. So now this is how to uh, add a theme to your store. To sign up to Printful, you go to akprosperblog.com forward slash Printful. So you can press my blog forward slash printful. Okay. So once you get to this page, let me uh, let me log out because I already have an account already. But once you get to the page ahead, so this is what you are going to be seeing. So that's if you don't have an account. So once you go to AK Prosper blog that's comfort slash printful so you see the option to sign up you click on sign up so you can sign up with your email so i already have an account so what i'll just do is to sign in but if you don't uh, have an account so you enter your full name your email your password and then you click on uh, on sign up so i already have an account so let me just sign in so once you sign up uh to printful the next thing you have to do 
so i can see i've already signed up to printful used to confirm your email so make sure you confirm your email uh, the email you used to sign up to printful go to check that email uh that email address you are going to receive an email asking you to confirm uh your account so once you are you are done with that another thing we want to do now is to connect our store so we are going to connect our shopify store the shopify store we've just created this thing for lover we are going to create uh we are going to connect it with our printful account so to do that you click on stores so this store is for the uh, demo store i created this thing for lovers so this for this store i've connected it to my printful account so you can add uh, more than one one store to your principal account so what you want to do now is to connect the one that we are create we just created now so don't make the mistake this is seen for lover without the s why the demo store we created earlier the one i've created earlier that we want to recreate which is this is seen for lovers with the s so now let's connect our our store and our principal account together so you can see to create a new store choose your uh your method so we can choose which let's choose the platform so we are working with Shopify so you can see uh, there are different e-commerce platforms that we can connect with Printful. Printful is the, the one that handles the print on demand so let's click uh, select connect since we are working with Shopify so if you are on this page uh, before you if it's showing you to log in so that means you have to log into the Shopify store that you've uh, just created so let me click on login so log into your Shopify store. So let's enter the store URL. So let me just copy it. I don't know why it's bringing an error. Let me copy it again. Okay, so now I'm, I'm logged in. So let me go back to this uh, store integration. So if I should click on connect. Okay, so now I'm logged in, so th that's I'm having the option to log out. So now once you're on this uh, Printful, you see Printful Print On Demand. So you click on Add App. So this will redirect you to your Shopify store. So once you scroll down, you click on Install App. So connect you can see you can see connect uh, your store with Printful. So since you already have an account, so just click on uh, on sign in. You enter your email, your password, and you click on sign in. So it, it asks you that confirm connection. So connect your store to, to the email you use to sign up to Printful. So you click on connect your store to. So with that now we've been able to connect our store so let me our store and our shopify i mean our principal account and our shopify store we've connected together so now they are now that they are connected if i should click on stores so you can see so this is it seems for lover this is a new uh, shopify store that we've just uh we've just created so it's, we've connected to our principal account so now that we've uh, we've done that we've signed up to principal We've connect our Shopify store with our principal account. Another important thing to add is our billing. So if you come to billing and you select a uh, billing method, so right here we are going to add is to add what you are going to do is to add a billing method. This billing method is what you are going to be using to pay for order that you receive on your store. Remember, when you receive an order, I think we are still going to be looking at it towards the end of this video. When you receive an order, you are going to see it here. Once you click on orders so the orders is going to appear here so the billing method will allow you is what you are going to be using to pay to make payments for orders that you received uh, that is being received on your store so once you click on billing method 
so you click add new billing method so once you fill in all these details and then you'll be able to add your billing method either you'll be paying with uh with your card or with paper so you have that option of doing that right there it's very important you add that so that is it on how to sign up to printful and then confirm your email you connect your store you had your billing uh, your billing method so currently on our shopify store you can see i'm on products i'm on the product i've clicked on all products you can see there is no product uh, on our store so to add uh, products we'll go to our printful accounts so you go to your printful account you click on products templates so right here i already have some uh, product templates these are uh, the products you find on the store i've created earlier but uh, if you are following this tutorial this place you uh, there, you won't find anything there so what you are going to do is to click on new templates so this is where you are going to select what you want to add uh, the kind of the, the, uh, product you want to design or add to your store so you can see we have men clothing uh, we have t-shirts uh, polo t-shirts and different thing we have underwears so you can see that uh, printful is not only for t-shirts they offer different uh, print of demand print on demand and service so let's go back to products so we have men clothing Another main clothing we have different we have t-shirts like i said earlier we have hoodies uh, sweatshirts underwear shorts you know for kids and youth clothing so you can see there are different items we have uh, under accessories there are bags uh, phone cases so if you want to create uh if you, if you have for phone cases then you have that option for face masks so you can see it is not only um, t-shirt so printful does, uh, is not, uh, does uh, other things apart from t-shirt so but for this video we are going to be focusing on t-shirt but the principle is the same thing the step is the same thing either for t-shirts or for caps or for backpacks or for underwear you know the steps are, are still the same thing so now to uh, to create a product template so I, I want to click on men clothing so I want t-shirts so you can see there are under men clothing there are different options you know sweatpants uh, hoodies no slip shirts so once I'll, I'll click on um, on t-shirts so there are different uh, templates to, that you can work with so I'll be working with this so with this unisex uh, premium t-shirt so once you click on it so the next thing is is to drop your design so you can see uh, drop your design here so once you click on it you have the option to upload I already have this design uploaded that's why you are seeing it here but if you are creating your own store once you click here you have the option of uploading your own design so you click on upload so you can accept this and then it will take you somewhere on your uh, on your computer to upload your design so let's say I have a design somewhere. So once you click on uh, uh, upload, it will take you somewhere on your computer to upload your design. So let's say I want to upload this design. I click on it and I click on open. So 100%. So once I click on it, I choose. So the design will appear right there you can adjust it to make it bigger if they're looking too small so this image doesn't meet the requirements so i'm just selecting this image uh, i just uploaded this image so you can adjust it so this is the printable area but you can see i, I have here so your image doesn't meet our uh, print requirements so let me select another image but it's, but yeah uh, why i uploaded that image for you to see how to upload the image so since i already have some designs here I, let me see if i want to select this particular this particular design once i click on choose so i can make it big so i'll drag it here to increase it i want it to go up a bit so with that now i've been able to add the design to the front so you can decide to have a design uh, on the back the left sleeve you know but i'm dealing with just the front so now 
haven't added the design so if I should click on continue so the next thing is to give it a name so right here is um, short sleeve unisex, uh, unisex t-shirt so let me give it a name uh, So will you marry me? Short sleeve unisex t-shirts. So you can see, like the picture is talking about a guy proposing to a to a girl. So before we do that, uh, there's one thing I didn't select. So. And that uh, what I forgot, uh, what I didn't select is the color. So you can also choose. So once you upload your design and you select, uh, you know, you adjust the size and then the position. So you can also select the color that you want to be for this particular product. So you can decide to select all colors. So that means you want all the colors to be available on your store. You can just select the colors that you want. Maybe you want the black. Whatever colors that you want, you can just select them. So then once you are done selecting on this particular design now we are on design so once you add your design you select your color you click on continue and then you add uh, the product template title you give it a title for the sizes you can decide to add sizes so you can decide to select all all sizes select all sizes maybe xs x you can you select the sizes and then you click on save product templates So this is uh, the product that we've just created. Note, this product we've just created, it, we are yet to add to the store. To add the product to our store, so if you click on this uh, three dots here, you see the option add to store, so you click on it. So you select the store, so this is the store we are currently working with, Things with Lover. So I click on it. So once this page appears, you see, uh, stocked in so this this place you select the region where you want uh, the item is stocked so you, you choose a location that is close to the customer that you are targeting right here we have the US Mexico Europe Latvia Europe Spain Australia so if you are targeting people in the US I might want to choose US if you are targeting people that live in Australia you know just make sure you choose a, uh, a location that is close to the target uh, audience that is your customers so that's it for this third thing so you choose the color that you want so if you want all the colors you can just click on select all so all the colors will be selected so i don't want all the colors so let me just choose some colors then for the size so you can decide to select all sizes if you don't want all the size you can just select the size that you want so right here to show you some of the ones that are not available based on the information that you've chosen based on the colors and the size so for example for xx these uh, colors are not available this red autumn eta raspberry this mustard so these colors are not available so it lets you know that these colors are not available so once you are done you click on proceed to mock up So now you are going to choose your, your mock-up style. So this is, it says mock-ups that will be pushed to your store. So here you edit uh, the style to this color. So you can leave it to all colors. Then the mock-up style. So do you want the men's mock-up or the women's mock-up, couples mock-up? You know, there are different mock-ups that you can choose from. So for this particular one, I'll, I'll choose the men mock-up. And then once you choose it, you can then decide which one do you want to be sent to the uh, to the front of your store. Is it the black? Is it the red? Is it the autumn? So you can choose any of these. So let me just choose the black. Then you have the option to add additional mock-up. So if you check on this thing, so you choose the color. Okay, I have the black as the front. So let me choose a different color. Then you select additional mock-up. So, 
so I've chosen the additional mockup. So once you are done, click on proceed to detail. So you choose your description language, you choose your product title. So this is the title that will appear on the front of an you know, front end of the store. So So here is the description you can see the description is there already so for the size guide if you want to attach a size guide then choose the measurements that you use imperial or metric so once you are done you proceed to shipping so for this one you can also uh, check this option say display my products with free shipping so you can decide to check it but i don't want to check this so i leave it like that i proceed to shipping so if you look on this now we are to set up shipping look i said uh set your desired profit and we'll configure the retail price for you so this is the uh principal price over here based on the sizes you can see xx s m um that's small medium large extra large this one is extra small so you can see based on the prices i mean based on the sizes these are the prices that principal will charge that so this is the retail price that's the price that it will, that it will appear uh on your store and this is the profit so you can either set it manually you can just make you can just change this figure to set your profit so just make sure that whatever profit you are setting is something that is very reasonable and not too high that it will be uh to ju just make sure that it is on um, profit that you are setting on each of these uh products on these t-shirts are always uh, reasonable so once you are done with that you click on submit to store So you can see adding adding new product to store so now let's go back to our store so now let me refresh this page so you can see this is the product that we've just pushed to our store this is it so that is how you go ahead to add the product to store so once you are on your principal accounts so let's say for example this other uh, t-shirt i want to push it to my store it's still the same process you click on these three dots you click on add to store so let me quickly add one more so so let me go back so for the mock-up style i want a woman mock-up and then the color I want red. So additional mock-up style. So I'll click on proceed to details. So I give the product a title. Proceed to pricing. So right here, like I said earlier, you set your price, you set your profit, and then this will be the retail price for each for the size. So for for XL, the price will be thirty ninety nine. And then this is the profit that you make. You make between twelve dollar fifty four cents to thirteen dollar fifty four cents. So once you are done, you click on submit to store. So adding new product to store. So if I go back to my Shopify store. So let me refresh this page. So you can see this is the product that I've just added again. So now we have two products. I'll go ahead and add more products to the store. So right here, I've gone ahead to add more products to the store. So right here, we have more products that we are going to be working with in the course of this tutorial. So to create uh, collections, if you click on products on this side on, uh, of the menu, you find this collection. So you click on it. So when we talk about collection, so by default you find this one with uh, with the name home page. So we can decide to delete it. But before we delete it, when we talk about collection, is a way of grouping uh, similar products. When you want to group group some products together, we call it collections. So look at this now. For example, in this um, demo store that we have here, if I should click on B. Let me open it in a new tab. If I should click on bow and couples, 
Now all this, they are appearing on the menu, but they are collections. So if I should click on Boo now, what you notice is that they are only uh, male shirts. So you can see they are only male. If I should come up to couples, you can see that I have something that looks like a couple here because we have a, uh, a male and a female. So that this is a, this represented a collection. So for couples, it's representing a collection. So that is what we mean. And then for the bay, you can see that they are all females. So it's a way of grouping uh, similar products together. So that's what we mean by collection. So let's go back. So let me just close this. So let's go back to our store and create a collection for all products, uh, bay, boo, and couple, just like we have here. So to do that, so the one that we have this home page, let me just click on it. So let me just edit this one instead of deleting. Let me just edit it and call it all products. So just like we have here, all products. So when you are creating a collection, you add your title. For the description, you can see it is optional. So I'm going to be leaving it. Then for the products, so we already have one product. I can I'll click on browse. So I'll select. Since it's for all products, so I go ahead and select all the products that we have in the store. So I click on done. So click product updated, then save. So now let's view this collection. So if I click on view, so this is one collection that we've created all products so all the products that we have on the store are currently displaying under this collection so let me also create uh, the other collections so if I should go back to collections so I create I select create collection so let's create another collection let's call it uh, B So for the collection type, we select manual. Select manual. We click on save. So once that is saved, we've not added product. So the next thing is to add product to this collection. So you click on browse. So for B, I want to add this. So I've select uh, the product I want to add to this collection. So once you click on add, product updated. So there is no need to save. Since so now let's view view an online store. So this is a collection that I've just created now for B. So let me create the other two collection. So create another collection. So it's the same process. So it's already set on manual. So you click on save. So depending on uh, what you want to start as uh, sell on your store, so your collection can be different. So it should definitely be different. So depending on what you are selling. So so you click on add product updated. So let me create the last one. Create another collection. So it's already on manual, collection type is already on manual, I click on save. So for products, so I click on add, is that all right? Okay. So I click on add. So. So you can view them on your online store. So, so, so that is how you go ahead to create um, a collection. So to set up payments, if you click on come and click on settings. So you see the option payments. You click on it. So this is where you are going to set uh, set uh, set up payments. So. You are going to select how you want to receive your money for any order you make on your store. So we have the option of, of uh, 
express checkout with paypal so if you want to activate uh, paypal you want to use paypal on your store you just click on activate uh, paypal express checkout and then you'll be able to set that up so we also have option uh, for third party providers so once you click on uh, choose third party providers so you can see that there are different uh, payment gateways available here we have uh, cash envoy pay stack to checkout and then epa you can see there are a lot of them so depending on the uh, country that you are operating from you definitely find uh, at least one of these payment gateways will definitely work for you so for example now i'm recreating uh doing this video from nigeria there are two options that are available in all out of all of this option so and that is pay stack and to check out and okay no cash envoy and pay stack so in, my, in your country it might not be available for you but and maybe all these other options that are currently showing unavailable in your country that means it's not available uh in nigeria it might be available in your own country so you definitely find uh, a payment gateway that is available in your country that you can choose from so but for the purpose of this uh, tutorial i'll be using bogus gateway you can see just for for testing is bogus gateway so that's what i'll be using but if you are you are creating your store and you want to start receiving real-time payments so uh, you will not be able to use good bogus gateway this is just for testing purpose so let, once you select your payment gateway then you go ahead and set it up you know the instructions will be there on how to set it up it is not something very difficult you might need to sign up with uh, whichever payment gateway that you are using so once you are done you click on activate for activate so i've selected one uh, payment gateway like i said this is bogus gateway it's just for testing so let me go back to payment providers so i've selected one so you also have an um, alternative payment method you can just once you are you, are, you can once you are uh, choose a paypal or this book or a payment gateway from the options that you have here i think that is okay but let's look at this alternative payments method so this is if you want to accept uh cryptocurrency you have the option of doing that from choosing one of these alternative payments method you can see uh over 100 payments method credit card vouchers wallets in latin america beats pay and so on so the, uh, that option is also available if you want to accept manual payments maybe bank deposits a cash on delivery you know that option is also available but i'm i'm okay with any of the option for example if i'm creating a is uh, if it's for, I want to take the store life, you know, I will personally go for uh, maybe pay stack because that one is available in Nigeria. So once you are able to choose any of these uh, options here, I think you are good to go. So you don't need to start choosing any alternative payment method. And if you want to go with PayPal, good for you. So that's it on how to set up payments. So once you are done with that, so let's go to the checkout page. So for checkout, so if once I click on checkout, so there are options here that uh just to set to set up so let's look at the first one it says customers account it said choose if you want to prompt your customer to create an account when they check out you know when you go to some stores you have to create an account before you can check out if not you'll not be able to check out so do you want so that this one is asking you do you want uh, customers to create an account before they can check out so personally i always leave it as optional and not required then for customers contacts so he said choose which contact method your customer can use to check out and receive updates so the option that customers can check out using either their phone number or email so the first option i'm always okay with it instead of customers can only check out using email i always assume maybe if the customer don't want to release their email or they don't have email address you know you might be surprised that some don't have email address so i'm always okay with the first option so to receive um, shipping objects customers can download the shop app i'm always okay with this then for form options uh full name he said choose whether your whether your checkout form requires extra information from customers so full name full uh require last name only require first name and last name i always go with first name and last name company name you can leave this hidden optional address line to optional then for shipping address phone number this is I always leave this required it's very important because if you look at it they are uh, creating an account is optional so if they are not prompt to create if not required or it's not compulsory for them to create an account then they should be ready to drop their phone number it makes it easy when uh, when the order wants to be delivered to them if they're having challenges locating them they can easily call them so shipping address phone number is very uh, is always very important is required
Then for tipping, he said, include the options for customers to add a tip at checkout. So I always leave this. You know, some customers are always uh, don't always find it difficult to you know add tip when they are making order. So this is just an opportunity to earn more. So order processing. So you can choose whatever options that you think is okay here. Yeah? So. So, but the two major things I'll, I'll just used to check out for is, is the account section and then the phone number. The first name as last name required, phone number required. Tipping is left to you, but I'll always leave it checked. You know, it won't cost you anything. So, once you are done with the checkout page, you click on save. So, with that, now we've been able to set up uh, our payments and our checkouts. So before we set up our, uh, before we create pages and our menu, let's take a look at our store to see what our store looks like, you know, with how far we've gone. So this is what our store is currently looking like. And this is what we, are, we want to recreate. So now let's create our menu and pages. So we want to add a menu. So this menu that you have seen here. And then uh, some pages like all these are called pages we have uh, about us page contact us page return policy so let's go ahead and add those features you can see right now what we have here is just home and catalog and then if you look at the footer we only have um, search that's the only thing that we're having here so let's go ahead and create our menu and our pages so to do that now I'm currently on the store that we are working on so let's start with creating page you click on online store then you click on pages so this is where you are going to create uh, pages. So you click on add page. So let's give it a title. You can see we have uh, a placeholder. It said contact us, sizing card. So, so let's see the page pages we have here. We have about us, contact us, return policy, privacy policy, and then FAQ. So let's do that. So contact us. So let's start with contact us. Uh, for if you are creating a contact us once you add the title you don't need to add anything in the content so just come over to templates you come over to templates then you click on template suffix so instead of page you click page dot contact and then you save so that will automatically create a contact form so let's let's see what it looks like so you can see it will automatically create a contact form so if some if your customer wants to contact you, anyone wants to contact you on your store, you know, once they add their name, their email, their phone number, and their message, they can easily send it to you. So with that now, you can see it's very easy to set up a contact, a contact page. So now we've done with the contact page. Let's go ahead and create another page. So click create another page. So let's create about us. So once you write the title about us, then now we have the content where you're going to write what your store is all about so let me just copy what I have here so what I have here is just um, a dummy text so let me just copy it but when you are creating your store make sure you create uh, a content that def really define what your store is all about so you can see the way I created this I have the uh, il the logo at the side so let's do that so to add that image I uh, the logo so once you just click on insert image so let me upload the file. So this is it. So insert image. The image is currently big, so I can reduce it. So let me paste the text. So you can select the position uh, for the image. You can have it center align. You can have it, you know, left align, so that without the text, you have the text like this. If you have it um, right align, okay, sorry, I mean the image rather. So, so let me leave this one center align. So this is how it will look like. So once you are done with that, you click on save. So let's view it on our on our store. 
so this is how the about page will look like don't forget i said i use i use dummy text these are dummy text so when you are creating yours make sure you create uh, you write something that really defines or talks about your store so that is it for the about us page so let me create um create another let me create uh, two other pages so let me call this privacy policy so let me just use the same dummy text so create another page return policy So it's the same uh, step to create uh, pages uh, apart from the uh, contact us page that you have to select a template that is page.contact every other thing you yeah, the same thing so that is how you create uh, pages in Shopify so we've been able to create one two three four pages so now let's go ahead and and add a menu to create a menu so to do that on this side of the screen you click on navigations so we have the footer menu and the main menu so what we are having here this home and catalog is the main menu why if you scroll down right here we have is the footer menu let's look at it on this on this store so what we have here where we have all products about us <coughs> contact us return policy we have these are called the footer menu why what we are having here is called the main the main menu so let's go back to our store so now let's start with the footer menu if i should click on it so the title the footer menu so we by default we have this search but i don't want it i can decide to delete it so let me delete it so let me add menu items so what i'm having here i'm having all products about us contact us so let's do that so for the footer menu so you click add menu item so you can add the name so let me start with all products so select the link remember all products is uh, is a category so let's click on link i mean the collection rather so you click on collections select all products and then you click on add so we've added all pro all products to the footer menu so let's add another menu item so you click on add so you can decide to type the name first but i always like to just select the link then what i want to add is the contact us the about us and privacy policy that we created so we created that under pages so we select pages so if i should select about us so you can see the title i mean the name will appear automatically instead of typing it before picking it so once i select it the name will appear then i click on add so let me add the other pages contact us click on add then uh, privacy policy click on add then the return policy so it's under pages so if you have a blog that you want it uh, to, to appear under the footer menu once you click on blog if you have a uh, blog post you can select that okay so the privacy policy we already have a privacy policy let me delete it so what i want to add is the return policy so i've added a uh, menu item to the footer menu another thing is that you can rearrange all these things now if you want uh maybe you want your privacy policy to come before the return policy just drag it down so you can see so maybe you want your contact us you want it to be you know you can rearrange all the items that we are having here so it's left you can also make it a, a sub menu once you drag it to the right so you can see with that now uh, about us will appear under return policy but i want everything to be on its own so i'll drag it out back so once you are done you click on save so now we are done with the footer menu let's go back to the navigation let's do that of the main menu so if i click on main menu 
so by default we have home and catalog so let me delete this catalog also and sometimes i don't like to have the home because by time if you look at this store if i should click on this logo it will take me to the home page so i can decide not to have home so it is left to you so let me add menu items here so let's add item so let me give it a name so the what I want to have, we have all products, we have Babel and couples. So let me add this to the main menu. So all products. So all products is under uh, products. And I select all products. So you click on add. So add menu item. This time around, I'm, the reason I'm typing it is I'm giving it my own name. I want to name the menu my own name. So instead of going to the link, and then now I want to add a collection to the main menu. So I click on collection, and then I click on B. So the name automatically appears. If I don't want this name, then I can type my own name, the name I want to give it. And then I save. So, but I want to remove this for so I can just, let me just edit it. So apply changes so let me add another menu item so this time around is under collection so you can add a menu item either from collection products pages you know when we are doing footer menu we pick a lot of items from pages but now for the main menu we are picking items from um, from collection so it depends on how you want to configure your store but i think this is the best way to do it so collections and then let me add the last one which is couples So like I said, you can also rearrange it if you want, or maybe you want couples to come after all products, you can see you can rearrange it, which uh, depending on uh, the, uh, the menu that you are having. So you, once you are done, you click on save. So now let's view our store to see, uh, to see it. So once I click on, so you can see we have home, all products, Babel, couples. So. Gradually, you can see also the uh, the footer menu where we have all products about us, contact us, return policy, privacy policy. So let's continue. So that is it for our now to create uh, pages and menu. So to customize our store, so you click on online store. So you see this, and then you see this option, customize. So you click on it. So let's start. So let's start with the header. So if I should click on header, so here we can uh, decide to show the search bar. So if I should uncheck this, so if you notice that the search bar will disappear, but I want the search bar uh, to be there. So I click on it again. So the search bar will appear. Then the, for the logo, so we can select a logo. So let's put a logo. So let me use this as a logo. So you click on select. So you can see that the logo is looking very big so you can come here and reduce uh, the logo with custom logo width in pixels so let's say let's give it 100 and let's see how it looks like so it's still looking a little big so let me make it 70 okay i think 70 is okay 70 is okay for me so here you also have the option to either make your logo center or or leave it at this position if i should click on uh center main logo i mean main menu below logo so we can have our main for example our main menu is currently at the right so if you want it at the center below the logo once you click on it so you can see your the uh the menu will appear below the logo then the logo is currently left aligned if i see uncheck this you can see the logo will be at the center just like we are uh, what we are having here so it is left for you to decide all these things you know just some of these little things makes your store uh, look different so it's not compulsory you follow uh this arrangement so it is left to if you decide that okay you want your logo to be left aligned you can leave that and then you want maybe your menu to be at the left so that is left 
to you so let me just make do it the way i have it here so let me leave it like this then this is um show divider line in header so if i should uncheck this you notice that this there are two lines here will, uh, that disappeared but i want uh, i want it to appear so you can does it so show divider line in header then this uh, show announcements show announcements so if i should uncheck this you can see we have this bar here so once i uncheck this show announcements you can see that thing saying show announcements will disappear so you can use it to say something maybe if you are offering um, a discount or a promo or something you know once you show announcements then you can say whatever you want to say so announce something here so i don't want to show it i won't check this and whatever you write there you can also link it to maybe a page or to anything so so that is those are the options that are under that and don't forget when you are doing anything under this under this uh, customize always remember to publish because if you fail to publish it will not go live on the store for example now we've added a logo and then we've made the menu to look like this so let's go back to our store if i should refresh this home page so you can see now the logo is here and then the menu just the way we selected it when customizing so let's go back so now we are done with the header so the next thing is to arrange the section now all these things they are seeing here we have slideshow featured collection image with text image with text our store all these things are called they are called section so this is the slider this is the featured collection you can see featured collection followed by image with text image with text another image with text and then our store so let me first of all delete all, all we are, what we are having here all these sections So let me so that we can create our own section. So remove section. Okay, I I will still use the slideshow. Let me still leave the slideshow. But let me remove this image with text. So, so I have this uh, slideshow. So now, if I should click on the slideshow, so we have two slides. You can have um, a small slide. I don't know if there's a limit, but we currently have two slides. So I'll be using two slides. So select the image you want to add to this slide. So once I click on select image, upload. So here is one. So that is selected. So image position, let, I leave it as center. So you can also have a text over it like we have here. So let me go to the home page. So yeah, I have um, only the best t-shirt. So let me just copy this text. So let me paste it. So only the best t-shirt. So you can also have it to link uh, a button label that to link to other page on this uh, on your store. It's, so that is left to you. So you can change the color of the text. So, so let me just leave it at white. So these are the things that you can just you know play around with. Then the opacity uh, overlay opacity. So if I should increase it, so you can see it will add a, uh, a black overlay to increase the opacity. So maybe if you want to do it like that to make the text appear uh, to be more clear. So all these things are things that you can play around with. So once you are done, let's go back and let's do the next slide. So for the next slide, so let me select image. So let me upload another image. Let me use this. So select. So we will do the same thing. So you can add your text. Let me use okay something for both male and female. And if you can decide not to have um, anything, maybe if your image is showing some text and you, that's and you're okay with that text, maybe you have some text 
on your image and you don't want this so you can decide not to have uh, anything so just, just leave it empty so let me publish that so now we are done with the slide so now let's go back to the to this store now we this is the slide here we are having the slideshow so the next thing is we are having uh, a collection list so this is called a collection list so let's go back to our store that we are creating so in this add section so you can see that there are different things that we can add we can add the custom html we can add the blog post collection list we can have featured collection we can add image image with text like show feature you can see there are different options to choose from all these options that you choose that things that will also make your store look different from other store it's, and it's not compulsory you have all these sections you know if it's not compulsory you use all of these sections and you can use one section repeatedly especially the uh, collection list and the featured collection so right now what i want to add is the collection list so once i click on collection list i click on select So I just want um, three collections, so uh, let me just remove one, so remove collection. So for the first one, I click on select collection, select B, and for the second one, I select another collection. So it will pick one product and it will display it. So for the third one. So you can also change this heading currently is showing collection list. So I can say it. So shop for so don't forget to always publish. So change is saved. So let's go back. So let me refresh it and let's see the, some of those changes that we've done. So if I should refresh this, so you can see this is the store that we are currently creating why this is the one that I've created before now so shop for for baby couples and this is the slider that we've just added that we added so now let's add another section so you click on add section let me add um, a featured collection so, so once I click on it I click on select So for the editing, it's currently set to featured collection. You can change it. So let me call this for boo. Then you select a collection that you want uh, you want to feature. So it's currently using all products. I can change. So I select collection that talks about it. So you, then here you select how many products per role. So product per role is currently set to three. And then how many rows? So you can decide to have up to six rows. You can have up to six rows. So but currently since I have only three products for this collection, I can I'll leave it to one row and then to three products per row. So if I should select four, so you can see there is still space for one more product. But I only have um, three products under this collection. So let me set it back to three. So here we also have other options um, show products vendor. So once you click on it. To see it's showing these teas for lover that's uh, the product vendor so uh, let me uncheck that so you can also show a uh, sales circle if an item is on sale that means if you are giving discounts to show this sales circle then show sold out so once an item is no longer available so it will show that sold out so if you want this to show on your store you check this then you have a uh, center text below product image look at this now if you want it to be at the center so once you check this you can see the text below the product image will be at the center so once you are done with that option don't forget to always publish so let's go back and add uh, let me add another uh, featured collection so let me call this uh, so just the same thing we did uh, earlier
so let me add for you one more collection So, once that is done, so if you want to add uh, maybe image, I mean a gallery or image with text or a featured product, for example, if you want to feature a particular product, select feature product. So, once I select this, so I can select any product that I want to feature. So, maybe I want to feature. this particular product so it will appear like this so under this you also have different option that show vendor show quantity selector so if i should check this now pay attention to this place once i check show quantity selector so you can see customer can select how many quantity of this of these t-shirts they want then uh, image image zoom type light box so this is the light box then we have zoom in or zoom out So this is it. There are different options. Then show social sharing button. This is it. So this is currently checked. So these are things that you can just, like I said, just play around. Uh, variant picker and button size. So you can decide to make it small, uh, large, or medium. So, so when you are done with that, just make sure to always publish. So. This is what our store currently currently looks like and then you can rearrange these items i mean all this section you can rearrange it for instance if i want this uh featured products to come after to come after uh maybe uh for boo or just drag it so you can see as i'm dragging it is showing so So when you are done, you click on publish. So now that we are done with, so now that we are done with um, this, with the uh, with the section. So if you should scroll down, we have other settings. That are the theme settings. Once you click on theme settings, there we can set the layout, the color, the typography, the favicon, and other things. So let's look at them one after the other. So before we look at it, let's let's refresh. You know, look at where look at. Let's see what the progress we have so far. So this is what our store currently looks like. So this is the feature product, and this is uh, a collection list. Just the way we are uh, created it. I mean, the sections that we are we added. So now let's go back to the back end. So now let's look at the layout. So enable wide wide layout. Now, so if you look at this store now, you can see that it is very is wide. That means on both ends. But just look at it now. How it looks like. So if I should go back to this back end and I uncheck enable uh, wide layout. Before I uncheck this, let's view what a single product looks like. So let me open this in a new tab. So this is what a single product looks like. So here we have um, the title, then the price, the, you know, I will cancellate the color, the size, the quantity, this is the description, and then right here we have um, the size charts. So if I should uncheck, so if I should uncheck this uh, enable wide layout and I publish, so now if I should refresh this page, you just notice some slight changes now. So you can see that uh, we have more space on both sides. So we have more space on both sides. So if I should go to single product image and then I refresh. So you can see to reduce the space on both sides. To reduce the space on both sides. So 
So let me leave this checked. So now we go back now then for colors. So let's look at colors. So this is where you can change uh, the colors of some of the things we have on the store. So the top background color is currently set to black. Currently set to black, which I'm okay with. So you can decide, you know, to change the colors and then play a background color. So if you don't want it to be white, maybe you want it to be red. So you can see it to change the color to whatever color you select. So let me bring it back to white. So uh, the footer background. So let's scroll down to the footer. The footer background is currently white. So let me, I want to change it to a dark color. So I've changed that to the to a dark color. So lines and border. Then the button color. So the button color is currently set to red. Then the button text white. So then the text. So the text color also top bar. So this is the top bar is currently white. So the main menu. You can also change the color of the main menu. You don't want this color. So whichever color you want, so you can see. It. So this you can see the color for the main menu. So you can here you select the color that you want for your main menu. Then for the body and then the footer. So you can just play around with these colors to to arrange your colors. So for the footer, I want it to be white. Then for the social uh, media icon. So I also want it to be white. So make sure you always publish. So let's go back. Then the typography. So you can try to change the typography. But make sure that whatever typography you are using is uh, something that is visible to the customers that they can see. So something not too fancy that is difficult or too small for customers to see. So you can change uh, the fonts for the uh, for the body text for the heading and then the size so I won't be doing anything here then for the favicon so let's go ahead and add the favicon so when we talk about favicon for example now you see this little Shopify logo is what we call favicon so on our store now we don't have a favicon that's why you are seeing uh, this this circle this globe circle that's because we don't have a favicon for example for that of um, Gmail if you're on Gmail you see this uh, this envelope with M so that's what we mean by favicon so let's add that to our store so and most times it's always the logo so select image so let me use the logo as a favicon okay so let me publish so let's go back so for social media so here you add the link to your social media uh, accounts for your store so if you have a twitter account for your uh for your e-commerce store for shopify store so right here you add the link so let me just copy that of Shopify. So you have uh, opportunity to hide for Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Google Plus, Instagram, Snapchat, and all all this. Now, if it's only Twitter and Facebook that you want to add, just add it, and you can leave this one empty. So the only two, these two that we add, Twitter and Facebook, that will appear. So once I click on publish. So let's go back then for the checkout so you can also design the, uh, the checkout page you can see there are different options here you can add a background image you can add a logo so let me add the logos so then you can add the main content background image all these are options that you can choose from so that is for for the checkout so for the theme style, there's nothing to do here. So publish. So let's go back. So there's another thing that we we want to do on this our own page is the footer. You know, after adding all these sections, after we've worked on the header, we work on the on these sections more like uh the body. Then let's look at the footer. So if we click on footer. So these are the options that we have uh, for the footer. You can see the first one is the footer menu. So once you se select it, you can either select either the main menu or the footer menu, whatever menu you want to add. You want to add here. 
so it's currently set to the footer menu which is okay so let's close that so this is the news but if you don't want it you can delete it so once you click on it you remove it then we have social icon and then newsletter sign up so i'm okay with these three then for the payment icon if you want to show this payment icon where we are having uh, all this visa mastercard amex paypal and the rest of them so if you want this to show you leave this checked if you don't want it you uncheck this and that will take that off so i want it to show so i'll leave that checked so don't forget always publish because for if you are doing all these things and you are not publishing it that means uh, i mean you are not saving or publishing it you know if for any reason maybe your computer go off or whatever you know all the changes you've made will not go live on your store so now that is it for the footer we've already set our footer so let's go back so with that now we've been able to customize our store now let's go to our store and let's refresh So, you can see this is what our store currently looks like. You can see the footer, all the options we select, the link, uh, links, uh, followers, newsletter, and everything. So, so that is it on how to customize uh, our store. When we talk about adding a custom domain, say for example now look at what we are having here the name of our uh, domain is what of our store is we said is teens dash four dash lovers dot my shopify.com let's look at it from the front end look at it so if someone asks you that okay what's the name of your store and you say okay the name of my store is teen dash four dash lover dot my shopify.com you can see that it doesn't make sense so to change this is what we talk about uh, giving our store a custom domain so to change this we are going to go back to the back end of our store you click on domains so we can either connect an existing domain so that means when you have uh, a domain name already you can transfer a domain or you buy a new domain so in most cases you might want to buy a new domain or connect an existing domain so when we talk about domain name that is your store name maybe for example like facebook we have facebook.com that is a domain name so that's what we mean by a domain name so currently what we are having is things you can see you cannot just someone cannot ask you the name of your store and say oh or maybe say oh i have a print on demand store or i have a new commerce store where you can shop for t-shirts and someone asks that okay what was the name of your store and say the name of my store is um t's t's dash four dash lover dot my shop five dot com i don't know it doesn't make sense like that so what you can do is either you buy a new uh, a new domain so once you click on buy buy new domain so now you can enter the domain name you want to buy so maybe you want to buy uh seize for lovers dot com so whichever the domain that you want to buy so you type in the name and check if it is available okay for example this one now is not available it's already taken so but definitely you'll find the domain name uh for your store that is available so let me change this for two So for example now if i should say this is for lovers.com is currently available so if i want to use this for my store the next is to just click on buy so once you click on buy then you add um, a payment method once you click on add a payment method so here you add how you want to pay maybe through your credit card or via paypal so once you pay once you make the payments then the domain name will be added to your store and then to be used in place of what you are having here so that is it on how to add a domain to your shopify uh, store so before we be pick a plan and remove our store password let's let's do something so right there this is one of the products on the store this rose flower short sleeve unisex t-shirt so let me just refresh so that you know that we are live on the store so now let's say for example i'm on the store and i want to buy this t-shirt maybe after adding it to cart or maybe i click on buy it now so if i click on buy it now so you can see this error he said oh something went wrong he said checkout system disabled you must choose a plan and enter your credit card details before checkout is enabled so now we have to pick a plan before our checkout page 
will be enabled. So if you do not pick a plan, you'll be getting this error. So that means uh, somebody cannot purchase from the store. And apart from that, when someone types uh, this domain name on maybe on a different browser, the, uh, the, the store will not be accessible. This is what I'm talking about. For example, let me just copy this. Let me use, um, let me open it in a, so I'm also putting it in a different browser. So you can see this is what, uh, this is what will appear. It will not be accessible. Opening soon, be the first to know when we launch. So except you enter a password, that is when you can log in. So to get rid of all these things, we have to pick a plan and then, um, remove the store password so to do that once you are creating your store you see this uh this option there you say your free your free trial just started or to tell you how many days you have left in your free trial and then the option to select a plan so once you are still seeing this just click on it select a plan so it should take you to this page it says uh, pick a plan to use when your free trial ends it said there is no risk if shopify isn't right for you cancel before to give you a date that is 14 days after you sign up and you won't be charged so uh, if you are just starting now i recommend you start with the 29 dollar per month plan it's called the basic shopify so once you click on choose plan so these are the uh you have a uh, staff's accounts two staff's accounts you know uh you track inventory and fulfill orders at four locations and other features you which you will find there so but since you are just starting now the 24 dollar per month plan is, is good to go so you click on choose this plan. So you choose the billing circle. So that's $29 every 30 days. Select. So now it's the payment method. You can either pay with your credit card or with your PayPal. So whichever one you are paying with. And look at it. It's just, you won't be billed. It's just $0. Since it, it, you are still on your 14 days free trial. So for, no, I'm using my credit card. So I click add credit card. So right now I'll add my credit card detail. So after filling your card detail, you click on confirm. So so you come over here and you click on start plan you can see build now zero dollar you won't be built so if you are using your credit card or your, uh, or your paper so make sure you have uh, maybe at least a dollar or two but you won't be charged it's just a way to verify if the card is working but make sure you have um, something in it so once you click on start plan and if at all you are built the money will be refunded maybe one or two dollar if one or two dollar is charged from your card it will be definitely be refunded so now i've been able to pick a plan so the next thing is to uh, remove the store password so to remove store password once you are taken to this page you can scroll down you see the option to remove store password so you can see your online store isn't uh, open yet don't forget to disable password when you're ready to go so you can click here uh, to disable store password or you click on online store so if you do not see this option, just click on online store, you come to preferences, you come to preferences and then you scroll down, you see this option, password protection. So you uncheck this. So that is the second way to remove store password. Or once you click on online store, if you are here to remove store password, it will show you this, you'll be seeing this option. Your online store is password protected. Only visitors with password can access your online store. So. You can see those are the three ways you can disable your store password so once you click on disable password it will still take you back to preferences and this section that i showed you earlier so you uncheck this enable password and then you save so now that is saved let's go back to our store so if i should refresh this page So you can see now this is our checkout page so our checkout page is now accessible so this is what our checkout page currently looks like so once a customer is on your store and they want to purchase this item for example once they click on it and then they click on buy it now so you can see they can easily access access the checkout page 
So that is it on how to uh, pick a plan and remove store password. So now we are going to be acting like a buyer. So let's say I'm a buyer on the store and I want to uh, purchase this shirt. So will you marry me a short sleeve t-shirt? So let's say I'm okay with the color, black, size and then the quantity. So let me click on buy it now. So here is the checkout page. So here I'll enter my information as a buyer. So let me enter my uh, email. So shipping address. So for the country or region, let me just enter a US address. So phone number. Remember, we set phone number to be uh, to be required. So if you didn't add the phone number, it won't allow us to go through. So here I've entered uh, some details as a buyer now. I'm acting as a buyer. Don't forget. So on this side of the screen, this is the price. The shipping will be calculated based on the information we provide here, uh, based on the shipping address. So this is the tax and this is the total as at now. So I've entered all these details. If I should click on continue to shipping. So, based on the uh, um, address provided, you can see it's uh, US flash page, that's $399. So, it has been added to the cost of the item, that is $26.98. Uh, $26 now, if I should go back and put in another address that is different from that of the, uh, the US address, if you look at it for US uh, flash rate, it's $3.99. So, let me change the uh, ship to address. So, let's say. Uh, I want it to be shipped to to Lagos. So let me just leave all that the, the details same. So if I should click continue to shipping. So, so what about flat rate? That's five dollar ninety nine cents. So it will be added to the cost of the item and then including the tax. So why I'm just doing this is just to show you that if you look, observe that in the course of this video, we didn't go uh, to the shipping part of it because if I should go back to the uh, back end of the store, if I should go to settings, and then we go to shipping and delivery. So you see that the shipping has been set up already. So there is no need for us to start setting up our uh, shipping. So the shipping has been set up by Printful itself. So that's why you can see that everything is just uh, that has to do with the shipping is just working perfectly. So there's nothing. There is no need to uh, to worry about shipping or setting uh, your shipping price or everything. So having done that, if you, cl you click on continue to payment. So this is the tip that we added that uh, during when we are setting up checkouts to add tip. So where customers have the option of setting uh, of um of adding tip when making their order. So right here is a uh, payment where so we are going to make payment. So don't forget for this tutorial I use Bogus Gateway, which is just uh, for testing. So let me just enter the uh, card details for Bogus Gateway.
So if I should click on pay now, so your order has been processed. Okay, so if you are not automatically directed, uh, you can see. So thank you, Prosper. Order number one zero zero one. So this is it as a buyer now. So if I should go to uh, my email as a buyer, I will also receive an email because I'm using an email for this, not phone number. If it's phone number, I'll receive uh, a message on that number. So let me, if I should go to the email I use as a buyer, so you can see, order 1001 uh, confirmed. So this is the uh, and, uh, the email the buyer will also receive, showing their order and, and everything. So customer information, so payment method and everything. The buyer will receive an email. They can view their order or visit the store. Then also as the store owner, like this. So if I should go to the back end of uh, my Shopify store, under orders, if you look at it, this is it here, orders, you see that we have something showing that here we receive an order. So if I should click on it, so this is it, order 1001, to tell you the time, the customer, the total amount paid, access which is fulfilled or not. So this is how uh, the order process is like when you're dealing with Shopify and Printful. So as a store owner, if you receive the uh, this notification that you received an order, so for you to fulfill this order, so you go to your principal account. So this particular order I've just made, don't forget this is a test order. I so say your payment gateway was in test mode when this order was created. Just so just pay attention to this. It's, it's a test order, but you receive something similar like this, like to show you uh, the order that was made, how much was paid. So you receive like, something similar to this, you know. The customer details, the cost, uh, contact information, and the shipping address, and then the billing address, and everything. So to fulfill this order now, as a store owner, so you go to your principal account. So your principal account, if you click on orders, so whatever order you receive on your store will appear here. The reason why the one we've just made is not appearing here is because it's a test order. So principal won't count that as a uh, order. So once you receive the order from your store, it will appear here, and then you will also go ahead and make the order. So the order will then be shipped by Printful to be printed and then to be shipped to the to the buyer. So, so don't forget, uh, I believe in the course of the video, I mentioned that you should add your billing address. So once you add your billing address, you'll be charged from the uh, billing method uh, you added to your Printful account. And with that, you'll be able to deliver, uh, uh, to order the product from Printful, make payments, and then it will be printed and shipped to the buyer. So with that guys, we've come to the end of this video on how to create uh, an e-commerce print of demand website using Shopify and Printful. So if you have any questions with regards to this video, kindly leave them in the comment section below. If you are yet to subscribe to, to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. So all the links, so all the links I mentioned in the course of this video to sign up to Shopify, akprosperblog.com forward slash Shopify to sign up to Printful. So just go to akprosperblog.com forward slash Printful and any other useful link, I'll leave them in the description of this video. So with that guys, my name is Prosper and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.